and welcome to How to Be a Girl. Um, I've had a couple of you guys tell me some of the different things that you would like to learn how to do. Um, one of them was a dip dye. Well, I can't, well I probably could, but I don't want to show you guys how to do an actual dip dye, mostly because I don't want to dip dye my hair permanently. So I actually subscribe to something called Luxbox, which sends me a little box of um, goodies like trial sized hair hairspray, uh, perfume, all kinds of cool stuff, makeup, and uh, they send that about once a month. So I just got my Luxbox in, which is super cool, and they sent me this amazing product that I'm going to teach you guys how to use so that you can get a temporary dip dye on your hair. So today I'm actually going to start with my hair straight, uh, just because I think that will be the easiest way to manage the hair, it's the smoothest. Um, you can heat style your hair before and after uh, using the hair color. Um, it's kind of a chalky substance and uh, I am using a True Royal by Color Smash which is really cool. So um, you're going to get messy. So the first thing that you want to do is make sure you're wearing kind of an, an old shirt, whatever. I've just got a cut up tank top here. And uh, you could probably wear gloves but uh, I'm just going to use my bare hands. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is if you have dyed or overprocessed or frizzy hair or anything like that, you're going to want to take some kind of um, leave-in conditioner or even just a water bottle, like a spray bottle, and just kind of apply that to your hair a little bit. Your hair doesn't have to be wet, but uh, you just want to make sure that it's good and smooth. If you're not doing your whole head, you don't have to apply to your whole head unless you want to. Once you've applied the leave-in conditioner or water or whatever to your hair, just run a brush through it maybe, that's what I did anyway. And the main thing you want to remember is that you're going to take tiny strands to do it one at a time. Um, probably something like this, maybe that's a little bit too big. Something like an inch maybe, I'm not sure if you can tell how big of a strand that is. So we'll start with this strand here. And what we're going to do is take our color smash um, there are other kinds of things that you can use like hair chalk, uh, but this is just the one that Lux had sent me, so I just wanted to give it a try. And you're going to take the lid off, and what you actually are going to do is, this is going to be hard just doing it into the camera, but you apply it right to the hair, so wherever you want it to start, and just kind of hold your finger to it, and slide it all the way down. So you guys can't see that because I just did the back of it, but you just kind of turn your hair, and I probably look cross-eyed doing this too. Just turn your hair until you've covered all of it with whatever color you want. You could even do an ombre effect, but I'm going to start with just this. Okay, so once you've got the color however you want it on your hair, you're going to take your hairspray. <laughs> I'm using Moroccan oil hairspray just because that's what I have in my bag. And you're going to spray it to keep it in. And uh, make sure it's about six inches away from your head. Uh, this is just to keep in the color. And once you've sprayed it, you're going to take a brush or a comb. I'm just using a plain old comb. And you're just going to brush through it just to get any excess out. The more you brush the strand of hair, uh, the less color, the more color you're taking out. Look at that. I have blue on my nose. <laughs> okay, so once you think you have all the blue off your face and your nose and your hands and wherever else it might have been, um, you're just going to keep going unless all you wanted was just one strand or you've got what you've wanted, then you're done. But um, I'm going to just keep going. So I'm going to take this blue piece that we've already done and I'm just going to pin it out of the way. And I'm just going to keep going. I want to hold your heart in both hands Now watch you fizzle at the bottom of a Coke can And I got no plans for the weekend So should we speak then? Keep it between friends I know you'll never love me Like you used to There may be other people like us Who see the flicker of the clipper When they light up flames just when you're done, it should look like this. More paint. I feel like Kesha a little bit. So if you styled your hair before, you're almost done. Um, I'm just going to take a brush through it. It's a little bit tough to comb this stuff out, kind of. Um, it's not the nicest natural texture of hair, to be honest. But it does look really cool. Probably the hairspray doesn't help. So I just did kind of the front pieces framing my face. Uh, because I just had a trial size, I believe. 
So I would like, I think what would look really cool is taking like a, a blue and a pink or a yellow or something, two kind of contrasting colors. I'm seriously still getting this all over my face. So, and I wash my hands in between. Just so you guys know, it's going to get messy. This stuff, I'm not going to touch my face. That's, <laughs> I look like a smurf. Okay, so once everything is in your hair and you've brushed it all out and it's styled the way you want it, you're pretty much done. Um, you can, like I said, you can curl it after. Um, you can add some product to it as well. I got a really awesome Moroccan oil gift set for my birthday from my hairstylist actually. So um, I'm just using some curl control cream just because it kind of tames some of the static. Um, and I am noticing that my hair is just a little bit staticky, probably from brushing it so much. So I'm just going to kind of... And then the finishing touch, once again, Moroccan oil, I just really like the product. I'm just going to give one spritz, I don't know if you can see that or not, but it's um, Glimmer Shine. Just one-ish, maybe two sprays is perfect. Um, it just adds a little bit of shine to your hair. I don't know if you can even tell, but this is it. So this is kind of a dip dye, or you could even call it an ombre kind of style, but it's temporary. So um, when you're sick of it, um, you can go and take a shower and it'll wash out. I'm assuming your body will turn kind of blue, so it's quite the fun process. Just make sure you're wearing old clothes and make sure that you are using even old brushes. Um, this brush is quite blue. I mean, this was always blue, but I don't know if you can see right here how blue all the bristles got and everything in it. So um, make sure that uh, everything you've got is old and it's kind of just a fun project, but um, I hope you guys enjoy it. If you have any questions or suggestions for other videos, let me know what you want to see in the comment box below and make sure you click subscribe and like. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. Have a great day.